All right, another segment of Yakking With You, Jag Off, and we are here in Oakland by the Mary Shenley statue, which who knew it was called that? And uh, we are with Hayden Thomas, who is a walking tour guide for the Pittsburgh Haunted Tours. Welcome to the program. Thank you, John. Nice Woo! to be here. <laughs> I know you love that. I'm sure you do. I'm good at it, and I'll keep it up during the thing. So just quickly tell us a little bit about the Pittsburgh Haunted Walking Tours. Well, we take a, about an hour and 45 minute tour around Pittsburgh. We visit various places downtown where strange things have happened. <laughs> I love that. And tell stories. We're not docents taking a tour around. We're storytellers. Okay. And like people grab at you and choke you and scare the heck out of you? Only the Jagoffs. <laughs> okay, I see. All right, so this Mary Shanley statue, I don't get the story behind it. I mean, there's this person with a big beard and there's a lady half naked. I mean, was Mary Shanley into some bizarre stuff? Did she? Was she the person with the beard? What's the story behind this statue? I think it's supposed to be the music soothing the savage beast. Okay. But to me, the artist represents A.J. Burnett subduing the beast from Cincinnati in a one-game playoff. I seem to have a one-track mind these days. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Mary Shenley, of course, bequeathed vast tracts of land to Pittsburgh, and apparently she still lives here inside the Cathedral of Learning. <laughs> Two of her, uh, the rooms from her father's mansion built in 1830 were removed and uh, incorporated into the cathedral. They're connected by a secret passageway through the ballroom's fireplace, and apparently Mary makes her lair there. Wow. Yeah, a couple weeks ago, one of our tour guides was talking about Mary, and there was a paranormal uh, investigator on the tour with one of those ghost Geiger kind of type things and said, oh, she's here. So apparently Mary watches over us when we talk about her, so. <laughs> See, I could be on your nice. tour as your as your <laughs> your sound effect support. Yeah. Now, one other thing is, we're in front of the Henry Clay Frick Building, and t there's some ghost stories about Henry Clay Frick and his. Yeah, the uh, greatest, most important ghost story in Pittsburgh's history is when Henry Clay Frick claimed his life was saved during an assassination attempt when his six-year-old daughter, who had died the previous year, appeared, blinding the assassin, making him miss with his bullet. Uh, I have a family history to that story. The Great Homestead Strike of 1892. My great-grandfather was indicted for murder after that strike. Now, I haven't been able to substantiate this. Apparently, everybody in town claimed that they had somebody who was indicted for murder. This was a claim to fame back then. <laughs> shows you Magic where we Kurt. were then. <laughs> you know? yeah. Now, how did you get into this, Hayden? Because you're really good at it. We you walk around the tour, you're, you're just so entertaining. How'd you get into doing this? Do you have a, do you have a paranormal feeling yourself? <laughs> Actually, uh, I had a friend, uh, we were both on the border. Whoa. I think I just saw, ah, just a gag, you know, a little gag. <laughs> Actually, I had a friend who was doing the tours and uh, we were both on the board of directors of the Welsh Society, the St. David Society. She mentioned she was doing this. My kids have been telling me for years I should be a tour guide. So I got into it more in the aspect of a tour guide than a paranormal thing. Woo! Until today, I'd never experienced any paranormal activity. <laughs> well, I'm a para-abnormal, I think you would call yeah, it. Abby-normal. <laughs> yeah. So what's the craziest story you have from one of your, one of your tours at this point? Well, the uh, craziest story was uh, about two weeks ago, there was a young woman on my tour. She brought 10 friends along for her birthday. She was telling me that they had had a wedding at the Parador Inn on the north side. It used to be Arthur Rhodes Mansion, a gilded age millionaire from Pittsburgh. And during the night, a man came into her bed, an old man with a beard, and she just thought it was somebody from the wedding party that had got lost. The next morning, she asked her friends if anybody had been roaming around last night, and they said, ah, nah, we were all drinking, there was nobody there. And she looked up on the wall, and there was a portrait of Arthur Rhodes, the man that was in her room. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man, I'm ready to go on a tour. Ooh, I got my sound effects ready. I can tell stories like you, where you get all kind of crazy. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. Come on, man, take me on one of your tours. There's no way you're going on one of our tours. Even ghosts take a jag off. 